And this is a revised comparison video, video between my two Airsoft ACRs. If you're watching this, you're probably wanting to buy one of these guns, and you're also probably wondering which one is more worth my money. The top one is the ANK Masada, which is worth about $200, while the bottom one is the PTS Masada, worth about $500. Now, the aesthetic differences between the two are quite apparent if you get to see them close up like I am right now. The handguard on the PTS version is longer and wider than the ANK Masada's handguard. The, char the charging handle is also different, has different locations, as the PTS version has a charging handle located above the handguard, while the ANK Masada's charging handle is located on the receiver. Now, the exterior build quality of these two is where you'll find, is why you'll find the trice difference between the two, in my opinion. The PTS's uh, exterior build quality is just a lot better than the ANK Masada's with that uh, higher quality polymer and higher quality metal. It feels overall just feels a lot nicer than the ANK Masada in your hands and it just is just it's just more sturdy and in my opinion is why it costs twice as much. But exteriors are only half of the cost of airsoft guns or only half of what airsoft guns are. Now the internals on both these guns are not as drastically different as the exteriors are. The internals on the PTS Masada, you'll get a micro switch trigger, which gives you a lot better trigger response. And you'll also find a, a proprietary version 2 slash version 3 gearbox, which makes it a little bit harder to upgrade if you're looking for that. But it does give it a little bit better performance overall compared to the ANK Masada's version 2 gearbox, which has a slower rate of fire and less uh, less precise groupings. In my experience, I've had a lot, I've had stock with both these guns. I've had a lot better uh, accuracy with the PTS version compared to the ANK version. And I most recently installed a RHOB in both these guns. So now I'm getting, I'm getting an effective range of just over 200 feet on both these guns. The FPS on both these guns should come around 400 or just barely under 400 feet per second. So, the performance on both these guns are not as drastically different, but the PTS version does come out on top just by just slightly over the ANK Masada with its higher rate of fire of about 900 rounds a minute with a 9.6 nunchuck style battery, while the ANK Masada has a 700 round round per minute fire rate with a 9.6 battery. Um, so overall, which gun is more worth your money? Well, that depends. In my in my case, when I was when I bought the ANK Masada four years ago, I did not have enough money to purchase the PTS version. So I purchased the ANK version four years ago, and it lasted me about four years until it broke, and I bought the PTS version, and I've had it for almost a year now. And I can safely say, if you have the money and you really want a high quality airsoft gun and exterior build quality is a really big issue for you and you just and you don't really feel like upgrading too much i'd say the pts version is definitely your better bet it is overall a better airsoft gun than the ank masada exteriorly and internally and the fact and i really like what i really like about the pts version is it's um it's real it's real scale the handguard feels a lot nicer because it's wider the stock feels better, it's more sturdy. The magazine is a mid-cap to start out, and uh, to me that's a plus. Um, the iron sights are better, it, the, it's more accurate, higher fire rate. It's overall a, just a better airsoft gun, objectively. Although, the ANK Masada is still a good airsoft gun, and if you were on a budget, and you did not want to spend twice the money to purchase a slightly better airsoft gun, you... The ANK Masada is definitely more worth your money. That being said, if that being said, the ANK Masada is, is a good airsoft gun, the PTS version is a great airsoft gun. That's my opinion, and I hope this video helped you shed some light on which gun to get, and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.